I finally found the little mount that I made to hook my phone onto my tripod. So now I can be hands-free and not shaky footage. So that's pretty nice. A few days ago, I had a nightmare about... Basically, I was fucking with radioactive material and I realized I was being a huge idiot. And it's just like... So it freaked me the fuck out because basically... In the dream, I realized, oh shit, I've been playing with chunks of uranium this entire time in the nightmare. And I was like, oh shit, well, I'm going to die. So I better get my Geiger counter. And I turned on my Geiger counter and like maxed out on the low, on the least sensitive setting. And so I was like, well, shit, now I'm, I'm probably going to die pretty soon. And so I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck this dream. I'm aborting it. No, I'm waking up. Fuck this. This is, this is gonna, It can only go downhill from here. So I woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep because I'm like, fuck. I haven't, like, I don't even know where my guy counter is. And now it's like, I want to check the background radiation or whatever of my house just, like, to make me sleep better. You know what I mean? So I looked around and I could not find my fucking Geiger counter. And a few days later, I happened to stumble across it. And it is a really nice thing to find it, I guess. But it's also kind of sad because I totally forgot that. Because, like, every, t every time I, I find it, I get reminded again, like, oh, shit, I caused it to have the battery leak acid inside there and stuff like that. So I have damaged it a tiny bit because it was pristine before. But... Like, if I turn it on, on the highest setting, it doesn't really detect anything. It usually gets about one tick a minute. And especially down here. I haven't tested down here in the basement, so it probably won't get that many. Oh, one, two. One. Oh. Yeah, there's something where you act around here. Interesting. Or it could be miscalibrated. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's just... it. I really like this thing. And it also makes me feel a little bit safe to be able to test one more metric of the world that I'm exposed to every day. It's just kind of nice. It can also double as an 80 volt power supply if you hook into the the wires going to I think the Geiger 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 Mueller tube. It has like 100 volts going across it. Very small current, but if you but if you have this charge a capacitor, you can get 80 volts from it. So that's kind of cool. I think it's even waterproof, too. But yeah, it doesn't really come up with much. And of course, with this, you can slide this over. So now you have less shielding between this. Like, I could hook into that and the meter does go up a bit. Like that. That's just because there's a little fleck of probably like americium or something on the side. Of course, you can just take the entire thing off and get it to really overreact. Because now, radiation is coming from all angles and able to get through. And it'll probably pick up a lot more. But this, I think, is what? Alpha or beta radiation? I'm not really sure. kind of wish I'd be able to find this because, you know, it's like, even though I don't want the end of the world to happen, it is kind of nice to have, like, stuff handy like a gas mask and whatnot just to make you feel better because everyone's a little bit paranoid, you know what I mean? Even though it's not necessarily like we're under obvious threat of thermonuclear war, but it's always nice just, just to have, like, ah, oh, yeah, there's the big fire extinguisher. There's my heavy-duty gloves. There's my, like, fireproof apron. There's my gas mask, and there's my Geiger counter and O2 sensor and stuff like that. It's it's nice to have that. Just like okay, if if anything ever happens, and I really I just need to check what is going on, I have the stuff to do it, or I have ways to protect myself from something. And so it just makes me sleep better at night. You know what I mean? Even though I probably won't actually really need it. Although I will say. Whenever I had this during the Fukushima Daiichi power plant disaster in Japan, I did notice that radiation levels did go up very slight amount. 
I'd say like a month or so after that. Maybe a little longer. But basically, I remember I remember seeing a little bit of an increase in the number of ticks per second or ticks per minute. Sorry. So I think I think at that at that point I was getting like maybe ten ticks per minute sometimes, and I was like, oh wow, that's almost one every six seconds. That's amazing. It's a lot more radiation than I'm used to. So I think at that time before that, it was like two or three ticks per minute. I'm not sure though, because I remember I looked up on the internet what the number of ticks per se per minute would be just for normal background radiation. And this was a lot lower in Illinois, but we're like 60 miles from anything. So I don't know, maybe that has an effect. Well, that's pretty much it. Just fun with radiation and radiation measuring equipment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.